What's up ladies and gentlemen, Dan Whitmer from Zen Dude Fitness and today I'm gonna to be showing you my favorite jump rope trick. Now please understand a couple things. If you cannot do advanced jump rope tricks, that is totally fine. We have a whole YouTube channel full of workouts and tutorials to get you on that jump rope ninja level. Speaking of which, if you're not on that jump rope ninja level yet, check out our How to Jump Rope Like a Ninja series. It's its own playlist. Secondly guys, this happens to be my favorite trick right now. This is not my favorite trick forever, but what I wanted to start doing was showing you guys how to do some of the tricks that I'm learning as I learn them. And what's awesome about this is a lot of the tricks that I'm learning are from you guys. They're from going into our Facebook group. If you're not in our Facebook group, check out the link below, get in our free four week challenge. The cool thing about these tricks is that I'm seeing you guys do some of these tricks and then realizing, Dan, you need to step your jump rope game up a little bit. So that's even pushing Brandon and I to start learning new stuff. So today we are doing the side swipe, side swipe, excuse me, crisscross. Now, it's not a super advanced trick, but the way that I do it is a little bit more advanced and I like to get this nice rhythm down and make it go very fast. So again, you just look like a ninja and then when you're doing it in public, people come up to you and they're like, you know, you must be a prof professional jump roper. They don't say that. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up followed by a subscribe. If you want to learn to jump rope, have fun and live an epic life. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the first thing we're gonna start off is I just want you guys to see the move, side swipe, crisscross before we get into it. So just check this out here. It's very simple. It's just a side, well, very simple for those who are a little bit more advanced. It's a side swipe and as soon as I'm done the side swipe, I'm just crisscrossing and going right back into it. As you can see here is the side angle. So um, what I recommend first guys is if you haven't, check out the side swipe tutorial that I just linked and also the crisscross tutorial first let's talk about the side swipe so guys the side swipe is a very simple movement where as you can see I go from my right to the left you can go left to the right right there you see that movement my I after I do the cross here you'll see in a sec my hands are open I swing that right my, that right hand over and as soon as the right hand comes to the left I immediately swing the left hand over uh, to the side as well you're kind of doing a little figure eight as you can see here when I dip my right hand I throw my left hand over it as the rope spins around. So check this out in slow-mo. Side swipe left to right and just doing a little under over. So my right hand is coming under and then my left hand is coming over. Check it out. Right goes under, left goes over. Bam. Now we're open and ready to do the crisscross. So check this out from the front guys. Here we go. Right, left comes down. So it's a little under over. If you, as you can see here again, my right goes under, my left goes over. And then as I open it back up, I get ready to do the crisscross. The side swipe is not that difficult of a move, but it's something that you guys are gonna have to practice a lot. But what I would recommend is getting down the side swipe first before you move on to the crisscross. And again, check out that tutorial if you haven't. Now, in addition to the side swipe, one thing you're gonna notice, look at this. When I go to side swipe, I'm not just doing a regular side swipe, I'm gaining momentum by stepping back. Check it out right here. Boom, you see how my body's moving back? What I'm doing is using my momentum to pull the rope back so that when it comes forward, so that it comes, sorry, so that I can side swipe a little faster than I normally would. That it looks like something very small, but that little bit of torque, look there, I step back and it allows me to side swipe at a higher pace and get me more ready for the crisscross. Here we go. So step back, side swipe. Good, step back, side swipe. So that back leg is the one that's really leading everything and coming back. So when you guys do the side swipe, just make sure as soon as that right hand goes forward, you're taking a big step back with your right foot. Could be your left foot if you want, but for me, it's my right. Now let's add everything together and do the crisscross, ladies and gentlemen. So that basic little side swipe right there, the step back, and then having that step back allows you a little bit of momentum right here, boom, crisscross. So we're going left, or sorry, <laughs> right to left, and then crisscross. Here we go again, right arm, 
left arm and now we're back and open and see how I'm running through this. I don't want you guys to just do regular bounce. What I want you to do is run through this. So as you can see here, I'm alternating my right and left feet. But then once I take that step back and come out of the step back, I'm ready to do the cross. Check it out, step back and I'm stepping forward to do the crisscross. So just like you got the momentum to go back when you were doing the side swipe, what I want you guys to do now is when you do the crisscross, move forward and move through that crisscross again to speed the rope up. Check it out again. Side swipe and crisscross. There we go, guys. If you guys have questions, feel free to let us know. Zendu Nation, thank you for another great tutorial. Post your comments below and just let us know what we can help with, guys. The whole goal of this is for you to become a badass jump roping ninja. So let us know how we can help Zendu Nation. See you guys on the next tutorial.